What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and uh, check this out. We'll see what we can do. Uh, hoping it works, we'll find out though. So uh, let's go ahead and take a little gander here. So today we're actually gonna go in and test this little guy out. And kind of hard to see, we'll, un we'll open it up here in just a minute. So what this is, is this is an M2 to USB 3 uh, header. And uh, what my goal is, is to see is, can we go ahead and plug an additional GPU into this? So let's go ahead here. So what we have, we have a riser uh, as well. Now we're running the ROG Strix B550F gaming motherboard. This is the one that we had some challenges with, but we have overcome them. Um, so this board supports up to five total GPUs, um, but it does have this M2 slot that we are not utilizing. So I'm like, hmm, let's go ahead and give it a, a whirl. We are running a, a solid safe drive, 128 gig off of SATA. So uh, I have a little test card here. Uh, I don't know if you guys recall seeing these uh, in past videos. Um, this is the power uh, color. Uh, this is the R9380 uh, that we actually have here. So we're gonna go ahead and test this sucker out. Maybe mine some Ravencoin on it. Um, so our M2 slot is right here. Uh, we go ahead and just unscrew this bracket. It actually shows you M2 right there. There it is. Uh, so we have all of our cards plugged in now. We have a spare one right here. We're gonna leave that available. I have a 580 eight gig card coming in the mail. We'll actually have a video on it uh, as to the story behind it. That is coming this week, actually in the next few days. So I'm excited. This card has been through quite a, a, um, a gauntlet. So we'll discuss that more once we get that card in this week. Uh, so let me go ahead, I'm gonna remove this and then we'll install our little adapter and uh, we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so we removed this here. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, it won't get reinstalled uh, because of the way this adapter works. So we'll put that back in the motherboard box. Always a, a good thing to do. Um, so the, here is our, I'm trying to get you guys, there we go. There's our M2 slot. And uh, let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what we're working with. Here is the adapter. So this is all it is right here. So this end where my finger side goes into the motherboard. There's our USB header. So we don't, it get, completely gets rid of the uh, PCI adapter card like you would use right here. Gets rid of that entirely. It's kind of an all-in-one. It's a, it's you know PCI adapter card adapter in you know into the uh, M2 slot, uh, and then even has a little notch out there to screw it in. So let me go ahead and install this, and I'll be right back. Okay, check this out. So we have our R9. This is actually a Power Color R9 380. Uh, these aren't actually RGB fans, they're just silver, but I guess the way the light's reflecting off of them looks cool though. Uh, so we have our riser set up. Uh, we also have our power going into our HP uh, power supply. Interesting enough, this actually takes two six pins, which is, I'm just surprised. Two six pins for the card, and then of course a six pin for the riser. We have all of them going in. We've actually filled our HP uh, power supply now. This is the 1200 watt as we are on 240. So our blue USB cable right here funnels around and comes down here. Take a look. There's our M2 slot. We have our M2 to USB 3. Nothing too crazy. No PCI adapter card at all. Um, traditionally, you would have something like this. And we don't need that. So uh, from there, let's go ahead and jump over to HiveOS. And uh, let's get this sucker mining. Okay, guys, so we are over on HiveOS, uh, and there she blows. GPU one uh, for our AMDs here. Um, so there's no overclock settings, no undervolt settings right now. Uh, we don't have a miner assigned to it or anything yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and kind of take a look here. So first thing we're gonna do is um, let's you know get this assigned here. So we're gonna jump into our flight sheet. Now uh, we are running, we're gonna run Ravencoin with this. Uh, if you guys didn't see, this is a four gig card. Uh, so we're gonna mine some Ravencoin on it. Uh, so let's go over to our flight sheet 
and you know we have a few different miners here Th this rig is is definitely a little more customized um so we have a miner right now team red miner uh that is running if we hit edit uh that's actually running team red miner uh for our 580 then for nvidia for our t-rex miner that is mining um our 1060 as well as our 2080 super then we have raven coin here mining and b miner and that is going ahead and doing we have a 1650 in here now the nice thing is with nb miner it does nvidia and amd so we're going to try to see if we can get this working here versus having to do a whole nother uh, miner so what i'm going to try to do <laughs> so i don't know if i can get this to work right uh, I might have to do a second miner uh, because of the fact of identifying if I do see like, here's why I'm looking at this under devices. You have to specify what device is using this. If I do, oh, I didn't mean to do that. If I do device one, like, uh, and right now it's saying NVIDIA only, uh, it will go ahead and there's two device ones. There's a NVIDIA and there's an AMD. So I'm not sure the proper way to do that. So just to be safe, <laughs> we'll add another miner. Why not? Uh, okay, cool. So Ravencoin, uh, we're going to select our pool. And uh, let's see. So let's pick another miner. Uh, we haven't ran out yet, uh, so we still have plenty. Uh, I'm probably going to go with um, uh, with B miner here. We have T-Rex. Uh, yeah, let's go with B miner. Okay, so now in B minor, we have to specify here a few things, guys, uh, under our devices. So it doesn't allow us to set if it's AMD or, oof, we'll have to see. I don't know how this is going to work. Let's let's check this out and see how we do. Because usually I would rather say here do AMD, but I don't see that. And it may be in the B minor dock here um, to be able to say do AMD and then do device one. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Let me open this doc real quick here. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick search. Okay, it doesn't look like it gives you platform. No, it doesn't. Bummer. Okay, so let me check a different miner, see if we have any different miner options. Uh, like if we do ETH miner here, uh, we're going to do it on AMD. No NVIDIA. So, okay, so it's saying AMD. Okay. Uh... Let's see, open CD devices. Okay, that gives us, okay, this, this will allow us to specify. So we're doing this on the fly, guys. Come on now, you expect professionalism. Okay, so what this is doing, guys, is this will allow me to say, only do AMD, don't do NVIDIA. You see how it has open CL? So that means that it's going to AMD. So when I go to my parameters, I'm gonna select um, the option to do the open cl and then device one this has nothing to do with this uh m2 this is just getting this to work within my rig but i just want to prove out the fact that you can uh mine with this unit so that's why i'm spending the extra calories here so let's go ahead and update and uh, we should now ideally we should start with eth miner start mining on this r9 uh we've applied the settings so what that should say, ideally in a utopian world, is look at, uh, we have a fourth miner here, look at the R9. Uh, it's so interesting, it does like R9-285 or R9-380, uh, just the way it comes up. Uh, it is running Hynix, and uh, I want to get that up and running, and then we're going to, we'll add some overclock settings into it, but I just want to get it mining to start with. So let me go ahead and refresh this again. Come on, give me some hash rate, baby. All right, it's just refreshing. Come on, give me that hash rate for for the R9. Okay, so that took entirely too long. Uh, my flight sheet configurations are definitely causing me some headaches here. Um, I spent, I tried so many different combinations, but I decided, screw it. We unplugged all of our other cards just to show you guys this is working. Just the M2 is currently plugged in with our R9. We are, do have Team uh, Red Miner right now. Uh, that is going ahead in place with Ravencoin, and we have no overclock settings in place at all, hence why we have 150 watts, uh, and we have a, a temperature of 73, so pretty high up there. So let's go ahead and apply some overclock settings here, uh, kind of get this sucker in place and good to go. 
Uh, and uh, then we'll be off to the races. Yeah, and we are on... Okay, so we're going to add... Let's see. We are on Hynix. There we go. Apply. Bam. Okay, let's let our overclock settings apply. And then we'll see. We were at 9.1, but we were high in temperature and also in watts. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we get here once we refresh this sucker. Okay, <laughs> this has been insane. Um, and it has nothing to do with with the M2 adapter or anything like that. Um, just Hive OS hasn't been cooperating with me. Uh, but it also, this is an R9. So I tried to get this working on Ravencoin. Uh, I actually made so many mistakes uh, in my that little recording I did before this with my overclock config. Uh, but what I was running into was the watts was so high. And, and everything I went ahead and changed on Ravencoin, as you guys know, it used more power. It was just getting so hot uh, and warm. And so I decided uh, this card is probably better suited for something like uh, ETC. So we're currently on Ethereum Classic right now, guys. Uh, we are mining using uh, Team Red Miner, and uh, we're looking pretty good. We're right around 20 mega hash, which is pretty respectable, especially for an R9 380. And on top of that, uh, we do have some overclock settings in place right now. Uh, I did find these, kind of scoured the internet a little bit, found some good ones. So we're running 1070 for our core clock. Our core state is 6. Core voltage is 850, and our mem clock is 1700. We're running our fans a little bit higher. Um, and uh, granted, I haven't done new thermal paste on these cars or anything like that. And we do have an AMD tweak for our reference of 30. So these definitely need new thermal paste. I do want to put new thermal paste on these, but we're down to 58 degrees and we're at 127 watts. So not too, too shabby. So I will be adding this full time into my Havoc rig. That is my four GPU rig. This will make it a five GPU rig. And then I have a 580 coming in the mail this week, eight gig that will make this a six GPU rig. The motherboard is set for five GPUs, but with this M2 adapter, guys, we are able to accomplish six total GPUs. I, would, I will put a link down below to this adapter. Please go ahead and check it out. I apologize for this video going way longer than it needed to, but we got it, we're good, we're done. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.